Maybe you're looking to get started with email marketing in your business, or maybe you're using email marketing already, but you're interested in switching tools. And you might be doing some comparisons between the different tools that you can use. So in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through a comparison between Flowdesk and MailerLite. Hi, I'm Anna from byrosanna.co.uk and I've been a website designer for over nine years and a marketer for over 11 years now. And so I've ended up trying a lot of different email marketing tools over the years, both for me and my email marketing in my business and for my clients as well. And two of the top platforms that I end up using are Flowdesk and MailerLite. However, each of these tools has their own pros and cons and different optimal use cases. So I wanted to share with you a side-by-side -side comparison of the differences between them. So first of all, what is Flowdesk? If you have haven't heard about it, it's relatively new on the market of email marketing tools. And I've been using it in my own business and recommending it to clients for the last few years now. It's got a lot of great features that I'll talk you through that I love, but the two main reasons for it being quite well known is it is super intuitive to use and it also has a fixed price, which we'll come back to. Flowdesk is an email marketing platform that can connect to any website because you design the sign up forms within Flowdesk and then just use a snippet of code to embed them onto any website of your choosing, no matter what platform. Form. For example, I use Squarespace for my own site and for my clients, and it's super easy to install on there. And if you haven't heard of MailerLite, MailerLite is also an email marketing tool, which is also known for being fairly simple to use, but also it does have a free plan, which I'm going to talk about more. Again, MailerLite can connect with any website. You design the sign up forms within their tool itself, and then it gives you a snippet of code to connect with whatever website you're using. So first of all, let's talk about the pricing differences between Flowdesk and MailerLite. As I mentioned, one of the main reasons why a lot of people love Flowdesk, and I personally love it myself, is it saves me hundreds of pounds a month because of its fixed fee. So with most email marketing tools, including MailerLite, the more your email list grows, and the more subscribers you get on your email list, the more expensive your monthly payments or your yearly payments get to your email marketing company. So while MailerLite does have a free plan and it does have some less expensive plans that you can get started with, you'll notice that as your email list grows and you get more subscribers, it gets more and more expensive. Meanwhile, Flowdesk with its fixed fee, no matter how many subscribers you get and how big your email list grows, the fee is always going to be the same, which is great for people with larger lists. P.S. You can also get 50% off your first year if you sign up to it using my code or my link, which I will leave in the description below. So I personally love the value of Flowdesk and the way they have that really simple, transparent pricing, whereas MailerLite does have the benefit of having a completely free plan up to a certain amount of subscribers, but it does have limited features. And while some of their cheaper plans range from around 10 to $20 a month, they also have limited features as well. So you can't access everything that MailerLite has to offer with that plan. Whereas with Flowdesk, you get access to everything for that fixed fee. So that's the pricing. Let's now talk about the general ease of use. So Flowdesk is well known for being basically the leader in the most intuitive email marketing tool. It is super, super minim minimal. If you're familiar with Squarespace, it does feel a little bit Squarespace-y because of the whole design and the minimal layouts. And it's definitely designed with non-technical creatives in mind to get started easily. You can see they've just taken real care in the actual design of the interface for you to do your email marketing, making sure that it doesn't feel too busy or overwhelming, which I love because I love minimalism, but also my website design clients love it as well because they're not typically hugely technical and they just want something simple that is obvious where everything is. With Flowdesk as well, I particularly love the flow of their email design process. In most other email marketing tools, including MailerLite, when you're going to create a campaign or a one-off email, it always makes you start with writing in the subject line and the recipients first before you even get designing the email, which I just don't find very intuitive because a lot of the time you'll be writing your email within the email tool itself and then wanting to decide what you want to have as the subject line after you've written it. Again, this is just the type of detail that Flowdesk has obviously put into designing the workflow because what happens in Flowdesk is you go to design an email and then after you've created and written the email, then you decide on the subject line, who you're going to send it to and things like that. And it just walks you through the whole process step by step. So that it's really, really obvious what you have to do. You don't have to go looking around and trying to find different things. And MailerLite isn't really considered to be one of the most complicated email marketing tools, it is still fairly simple, but I personally still find it quite awkward to navigate around, especially when trying to create an email. I just find that it isn't very intuitive. I get stuck in certain places 
it's not obvious to me where certain things are. So while it's not as bad as some other tools that I've tried in the past with loads of overwhelming different features, I still don't find it as easy to use as Flowdesk. When it comes to the email design, again, Flowdesk is very well known for being able to create these really beautiful, elegant looking email designs. They have an easy to use drag and drop editor with loads of pre-designed layout blocks where you can easily customize things to fit with your brand, whether that's the color, the fonts, spacing, whatever you really like. And you don't need to have any coding or any graphic design experience at all because you can just build it all within that editor and it just looks really refined. MailerLite is also a lot easier than some platforms because they also have a drag and drop editor as well. And they also have lots of different design layout and content blocks, which make it really easy to put together an email. But if I'm being really fussy, in my opinion, as a designer, I personally find that the email designs that you end up with still look a little bit clunky and they just don't look as refined and elegant as the Flowdesk ones. I can't quite put my finger on it why, but I'll link these brands both in the description below this video so you can go and have a look for yourself. Email templates are a really important part of email marketing because it can help you to get set up super, super quickly if you don't want to spend all of your time setting up designs from scratch. Luckily, Flowdesk has loads of beautifully designed email templates to choose from depending on what your goal is for the email and what kind of business you run, but they're all mainly designed with small creative business owners in mind and you get access to all of these on their fixed price and all of the other features that I'm mentioning too. Meanwhile, MailerLite's free plan doesn't actually include any access to premium templates. However, their paid plans do have lots of options to help you get started. If we zoom in closer into the actual email design and the different content blocks that you get access to in both of these tools, because they both use a drag and drop editor, so it's quite easy to compare the types of content and blocks that you can add to an email. I love Flowdesk's elegantly designed layout blocks that you can customize to fit with your brand. They have countdown timers that you can add to your emails, e-commerce blocks, and now even poll blocks as well, where you can get your subscribers to click on different poll options, and it will even dynamically show them the results of that poll, which I think is really fun. Flowdesk just has loads of ways that you can easily make your emails more engaging, but they do this in a way that also prioritizes the deliverability of your emails. They carefully design each feature to make sure that it's not going to conflict with inboxes spam filters too much. So I really do feel that the balance between style and functionality is there with these blocks too. MailerLite also offers a lot of these same content blocks that I just mentioned, plus some other dynamic blocks as well, such as accordions, which open up right within the email, surveys and quizzes, again, which all work within the email without opening any other windows, which looks cool, but it's unclear about how this has an effect on your email deliverability, because these are the types of things that I would imagine might be more likely to get picked up in spam filters or maybe not be able to render as well on some inboxes. So the way that emails look might be very different depending on what your subscribers are opening them on. However, I definitely recommend just testing that for yourself and seeing if it makes a difference. When it comes to the sign up forms, MailerLite and Flowdesk both work in a very similar way. So in Flowdesk, you design the sign up forms within their tool, whether that is an embedded or inline form which can sit on your website or pop up forms that pop up on your website as well. They also offer link in bio forms, which you can link to from your social media accounts with links and a little sign up form straight on the landing page. And they let you build full landing page forms as well, which exist as their own web pages. They have loads of beautiful templates to choose from. And they also have some really fun features that you can add as well, such as video forms, countdown timers on your forms, and even spin to win forms now as well. Meanwhile, with MailerLite, in my opinion, the sign up form designs really let this tool down. There are really limited design options for embedded forms and pop-up forms and the styling of all of these are very limited and clunky as well. They do however offer a full website and landing page design tool which is separate which has a lot more design options and a lot more customization ability but there's no templates for this on the free plan. So now we move on to automations, which are obviously a huge part of email marketing because these are things that can be emailing your subscribers with you being hands off and not having to do anything. You can create welcome sequences, nurture sequences, automated sales emails, and all sorts of things with automations. In Flowdesk, these are known as workflows and they are super simple and intuitive to get set up. These automations will always have a trigger and they can have multiple steps and conditional logic as well. Flowdesk also has the link actions feature, which means that you can trigger off an automation 
from happening when a subscriber clicks a link in one of your emails as well. So for example, if you set up a link action for someone, if they click a link in your email, they get added to a segment called interested. This could then kick off a workflow automation, which then sends them a nurture sequence of emails with more details about your service or product. Automations in MailerLite work really similarly, and it's pretty intuitive to set them up as well. However, the main differences are on MailerLite's advanced plan, you can actually have multi-trigger workflow automations. This is where you can have multiple different things having being the option to trigger off an automation. However, I've actually personally never needed this feature for my own business in Flowdesk, but it might be something you would want if you have a more complicated e-commerce business set up, for example. On that note as well, in MailerLite, you do have much more options to create automations based on e-commerce stores. So if you connect your MailerLite account with Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, or PrestaShop, for example, you can create automations right within MailerLite for things like abandoned cart or sales sequences, and it integrates those automations very easily with those platforms. Talking of integrations, Flowdesk are constantly adding more and more to their list. Currently, they integrate with Shopify, Interact for quizzes, Squarespace Forms, Typeform, and a few other more niche tools. And it does also connect with Zapier as well, which means you can connect Flowdesk to basically any tool or software or website on the internet, with Zapier being the middleman automation tool, which I use quite a lot. Meanwhile, MailerLite as a company has been around a bit longer, so it does have over a hundred integrations ready to go with all different types of website platforms, project management tools, e-commerce websites, plus also Zapier and Squarespace e-commerce as well, which is a really useful integration if you have a Squarespace website that also has an online shop. And finally, analytics. I love that Flowdesk has really in-depth analytics on all of their emails, on all of their subscribers, on all of their automations and sign up forms as well. Plus they have a whole analytics section on their website where you can easily see at a glance, things like which your most engaged subscribers or which of your emails has been performing best in the last 90 days, or of all of the days and times that you've sent emails recently, which are the best performing. Again, the thing I love most about Flowdesk is how easy and intuitive they make that whole interface so that you can just find exactly what you want super quickly. MailerLite also offers in-depth analytics for their emails and their automations. However, finding their overview of analytics is very awkward. It's quite difficult to find in my opinion, and it doesn't show as much data as Flowdesk's analytics area, which is super detailed. However, MailerLite does offer an A-B split testing feature where you can test different subject lines in your emails, which is quite useful in your analytics because you can then learn information about what sort of subject lines your subscribers respond best to. So let's talk about the overall pros and cons and who these different tools might work best for. With Flowdesk, as I said, I love their transparent fixed pricing. No matter how many subscribers you get, you're not penalized for your list growing, which is obviously what you want to be doing. Plus remember that you can get an extra 50% off your first year if you sign up using my link or code in the description below. They have those beautifully intuitively designed and elegant emails and sign up form templates that you can use straight straight away. And it's so easy, even without technical knowledge to create really beautiful, elegant looking emails. I also love their link actions automation feature, which just makes it so easy to add subscribers to segments or automations or workflows based on their behavior within your emails. And their in-depth analytics just makes it so easy to see what's going on in your email marketing. Again, even if you're not a technical person. The cons of Flowdesk are obviously that there is no free plan or cheaper plan below that one fixed price, which I understand might be off-putting if you're a complete beginner and you're not sure whether you want to fully commit to email marketing just yet. There are also currently quite limited e-commerce integrations with different platforms or websites, although they are adding to their integrations list all the time. Meanwhile, the pros of MailerLite are obviously that it does have that cheaper plan option. If you are just getting started, dipping your toe in and you don't really want to fully commit to email marketing, the cheapest plans are like zero to ten dollars per month although they have limited features if you have an e-commerce business there are lots of integration options for mailer light so i can see why that might be a plus and also a lot of automation options for e-commerce businesses as well however i do find that if you are a non-technical person or even as a technical person like me i don't find it very intuitive to use navigating around it feels a little bit awkward sometimes and i find it quite hard to find what i want i also think that the email designs just don't look as refined and the sign up forms designs are really limited as well and the analytics 
analytics are not as detailed as Flowdesk and easy to access. So overall, I think Flowdesk is perfect for you if you are a creative service-based business who wants to easily create beautiful emails without any technical knowledge and you just want to get started quickly without any tech headache. If you just want an intuitive tool that feels actually fun to use and you look forward to creating your emails in rather than dreading it, Flowdesk has to be the option for you. Or if you are someone who has an existing email list that's already growing and you want to save money in the long run with Flowdesk's fixed price, then this could be a great option too. Meanwhile, I think MailerLite could be great for you if you are an e-commerce based business using e-commerce websites and you want more complex automations that integrate seamlessly with your e-commerce. Or if you're just dipping your toes into email marketing, you're not sure whether you even want to use it that much as, an e as a marketing strategy in your business yet, then MailerLite's free plan could be a good option for you. I personally use Flowdesk as for my email marketing for my website design business, not only for all of the reasons that I said before, but I do just also love Flowdesk's ethos and values as well. I've had the honor to meet a lot of the team myself and they are genuinely passionate about what they do and about their users and making the experience as seamless as possible for people. But let me know in the comments what you think, whether you've tried out these tools and which you think could be best for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon with another video.